All right, y'all, how y'all doing? Today we're at a beach that I haven't been to in months. This is Shark Tooth City. We found so many sitting on top of the sand along this beach. Super freaking cool. So today we're gonna be testing something out. I was in Walmart. You know, you just have to go to the fishing section sometimes. Boom, this is a saltwater fishing kit. I've never seen this before. I think it's brand new. Might not be, I don't know. First time I've ever seen it. Is this actually good? Is it worth the $35? It looks like it's got a lot of stuff in it. I was reading the top. It's it's got some stuff. We're gonna break this thing open. We're gonna rate it one through 10. I'm gonna tell you if it's a good deal. We're also gonna be uh, kind of just trying to fish this place. You know what I'm saying? Do a little shark tooth search. And beach like this, this time of the year, I think that really, you can catch a lot of different things. And if you guys remember, this is where we were catching flounder a couple months ago. So maybe that, you know, maybe. Tide is high right now. Spirits are high. Let's crack this thing open. Let's get today started, man. All right, let's not waste any time here. Let's dive right into this. Cut these. Do I even need to cut them? We gotta undress our tackle box. Okay, so as I said, this is $35. It says up to $63 value. Looks like we've got a bunch of gold products and a variety of terminal tackle, actually. Dun, 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 the big reveal. Cool thing about buying tackle boxes like this, too, is that, I mean, even if the stuff inside is like no bueno, it's still a tackle box and you could use it. I'm not the biggest like tackle box user. Usually I just throw everything in a backpack, but there is a time and place. Oh, this looks like a pretty big one, too. Okay. Looks empty. <laughs> Everything's at the bottom right here. Okay, so put that there. So we've got little dividers and two, is that it? Two plastic things. What's in plastic thing number one? All right, so we got two bags. This is, okay, this is kind of interesting. Gulp strips? I've never used that before. I think you just kind of put it on a hook and it's kind of like a fish bites sort of thing. And then we have chartreuse bait fish. It's kind of interesting how they do this. So this is the other pack. This is just a three inch shrimp in new penny and a four inch swimming mullet. Those swimming mullets are fire. And these shrimp too. I mean, we're fishing at right now. This should be pretty effective, hopefully. So, okay, this is kind of cool. So it comes with a popping cork rig. It looks like it's already rigged up. That's a pretty big hook on that. Okay, that's an option to use today. We've got hooks quarter ounce that's kind of nice maybe we'll get some flounder that are floundering pancaking around we have a dude those are pretty big hooks there's a pompano rig i'm guessing okay we got two of those dude again those are the one thing about these tackle kits is like the hooks man they're kind of big and there we go this is a three ounce and a two ounce sinker we've got a couple options here also here's what we kind of brought out today um in this bucket we have some good old fresh live shrimp we just got it from the bait shop here's my idea right so i actually have like we were fishing at the pier a little bit ago and i actually have a little pompano rig that's already on here you guys can see that right there i'm gonna use this pompano rig and real quick we're just gonna put some uh little live shrimp on it and toss that out if we get some fish to bite that we'll then try to put on uh the stuff from the tackle box onto this rod and throw it out let's try that out real quick i will use this three ounce sinker on here we've been doing a lot of science on the channel recently Put this at the bottom of this rig real quick. Again, I have not fished here in months. I have absolutely no clue if there's even anything around. I'm telling y'all, we went into Walmart, literally not even for fishing stuff. And I was like, hold on, let me just check it out real quick. And boom, caught my eye. I just want to make sure if that happens to any of y'all that, uh, you know, you know if you get the deal or not. Boom. Let's cast that out. So basically, if you're not familiar with the Pompano rig, I've been using it in my recent videos, but uh, basically there's a sinker at the bottom. And it's kind of like a high-low rig. Different parts of the water column, there are hooks, and they have little floats. So they're floating at different parts of the water column. Loosen that up a little bit, and we are officially fishing there's a dude right here fishing there's people down that way way more fishing and these are circle hooks so the nice thing about that is like we're gonna be setting up our other rod and then if something bites this hopefully it'll hook itself side of the mouth bing boom bop and uh yeah man what is up seagull i don't know he's got like a hairdo all right so while that's out there again you really never know what the heck could possibly bite that let's open up these jig heads right here i believe these are quarter ounce oh there we go. Let me just lose them all in the sand real quick. By the way, if you guys ever see me out fishing, man, do not be afraid to come say hi. Shout out to Lincoln and Mac. They're twins and they just say what's up. And it's just cool, man. Oh. Oh my god, I got a fish around here. We got fish, guys. We got fish on. Fish on the shrimp. 
All right, this is good. Please stay on. First fish of the day. What do y'all think it is? By the way, it's fighting. Oh, I don't know. I do not know what is that. That is a. Hey, what is that? Hello? Is that a pinfish? That might be a pinfish. Dude, that would be some fire bait if we were at the pier right now. All right, boom. There we go, man. First fish of the day off the beach. Beautiful pinfish, I believe. Let's get him back into water. Cool, man. Heck yeah. There we go. Let's just put another piece of shrimp back out there. See if anything else is down and around. It could be a possibility that those things are just loaded like a big old school out there. I don't know. We shall see. Possibly Pompano could be in here. Bluefish. Uh, we caught a giant stingray before. Flounder. Spanish mackerel. Speckled trout. Jacks. I mean, the list just goes on and on. That's cool, though. It's always good to catch that first fish of the day, man. See if that... Oh, no. Do any of y'all ever do that? You're not paying attention. And instead of cutting, like, the tag end, you accidentally cut it from your main line and you got retie. All right. So, let's open this up right here. What do y'all think? The mullet or the shrimp? I'm thinking the mullet right now. See, the thing you gotta be really careful about when you're fishing with gulp, just gotta make sure that you don't spill the juices everywhere. Especially if you got like a backpack or something, man. That, that thing will smell. And there we go. As we're walking over here, make sure any shark teeth laying around here. We gotta find at least one today, right? There's a lucky sneeze. So basically, all we're gonna do with this, oh, let me check the drag real quick. Should be good. We are just gonna kind of walk, cover some water, and bop this around. These gulp baits have a scent to them that, oh, dude, I got a fish. Oh my gosh. That might've been a crab or a fish, I don't know. I don't even know if we still have the whole bait on there. That's a good sign, actually. Let's see. Yep, still got the whole bait. Dude, that might have been a flounder. Could have been a small one. There we go. There we go. What is that? We got a fish, baby. Oh, that's, dude, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Oh, geez, no. Sorry, buddy. There we go, y'all. That might've been what had uh, bit us. Here we go, man. Beautiful little dude right there. Tiny little flounder. Cool. He's got some shells on him. Let him go real quick. Yeah. A little skip de doo back in the water. Dude, I don't even care what size they are. This is so much fun to me. I remember a couple months ago, I was addicted to this kind of fishing, and now I might be again. <laughs> Let me know if you guys like these kind of uh, beach videos. This isn't like the beach beach. This is almost sort of a chill, I don't know how to explain it. Like this itself isn't the ocean. We've done a lot of ocean fishing actually recently. If you guys haven't seen those videos, we caught um, some really, 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 really big freaking giant speckled trout which was so cool been doing a lot of pier fishing as i said hopefully we get some big fish from the pier here soon i've just been having a lot of fun with salt water i know on my channel we kind of like mix it up and over the years we've done a lot of fresh salt here there whatever i've just been having so much fun with salt water so if you've been, if you've been waiting for the fresh it's coming i've just been addicted man 
appreciate all y'all who've been watching a lot of new people and I'm just very thankful to be able to just get out here and do this kind of stuff. Even with a broken foot, it's been like broken forever now. But even with that, I am very blessed. Gosh, man, this tiny flounder got me speaking emotionally. Let's see if he's got any brothers out here. I will say, dude, I just got bit on the drop. We got some motion. I was gonna say, it is very, very hot today. There's an excessive heat warning. Like, rear feels in the hundreds. <laughs> this is freaking hot, dude. Oh, no. See, that could have been, uh, could have been a number of things. Bluefish, flounder, crab. Let's go change this real quick. Hold on, you know what? Let's reel this in real quick. Okay, we do have fish on. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know how long you've been on there, buddy. Second fish of, oh yeah, you, know, you can just chill with that for two seconds. That's actually a different fish too. Different species, third of the day. That is, I think that's a spot, right? Oh, geez, it's getting back in there. He had a spot on him, I think that's a spot. This is what we're gonna try now. This stuff, I believe, you just clip off. Okay, so clip that off. Does it say? No, it doesn't really say how to use it, but it says surf bites. I'm gonna cut this in half actually, it's a little big. And basically we're just gonna use this like fish bites. I'm not even really gonna mess around with the other Pompano rigs right now because those hooks are just so big. Surf bite goes on like that. And let me see, do these things smell? Kinda, but like, I don't know. I don't know. They're not very like tough either. Like fish bites and stuff like that. Like you know that thing's not coming off. Unless it's been in the water forever. We'll see if this gets any bites. I have never used this before, so this is kinda cool. That's why we experiment. Let's toss this dude back around. Did I just get bit? That's not a shark tooth. I thought that was a shark tooth. I've been out of the game a little too long. The thing about fishing these beaches, right? Just any beach in general, honestly, but specifically this one is, you never know when you're gonna find that one big tooth, man. People find, I don't know how many they said it is per year, but people find Megalodon teeth out here. It's very, very, very rare. Like more rare than your favorite shiny Pokemon rare. But it's possible. So far, I really am liking this box. The only thing is, like, if you're actually fishing at like an actual big beach, the two and three, and even other saltwater stuff, like, that's just not going to cut it. Two, three ounces. And I got. I guess I understand because, you know, they're distributing it to Walmart's and across the world. You don't want to make it too heavy and pay too much. But that's one thing I'd suggest if you're picking up this box, you're going to be fishing any. Moving big water, get some fours, fives, sixes, depending on the tide, current, wind. Other than that, I mean, this thing's got some stuff in it so far. Just not a lot of it though, you know? This rod is... Oh, we do have a... Dude, we have a good fish on here. What the heck? Dude, what? On the surf bites? 
<laughs> Alright, doesn't feel too bad. I know it's loose, it's pulling a little drag though. What is this? <laughs> okay, well, first of all, these things work, apparently. Second of all, dude, that is that's the third species from this rod, just soaking stuff. Chill, buddy. This is a whiting. Dude, that's a good size one too. If I was keeping fish today, and we still have the bait on too. Cool, if I was keeping fish today, let me see if I can give you guys a good look. These things kind of flop a little. Oh, jeez, knew that was coming. Oh, dude, I think I just found a shark tooth too. Hold on. Can I let you go? Professional fish handler. All right, boom. That's fourth species of the day. Get that big boy in there. Look right by our feet. Where are we releasing? Oh no, it's not. Wait. It's not a tooth. If you come over here though, you can see. Look at that. Just on the hook. Like, I don't know why that is so enticing. Cool. Heck yeah, man. I guess these things work. I'll have to try them out, like actually in the surf. Oh man, we're actually, dude, we're doing pretty good today. Again, excessive heat warning. Haven't fished around here in months. Keep an eye on that. I, I went over there because I looked at the rod and instead of like, you know, the line being out, it was just extremely slack. A lot of the times if it's slack like that, that means like a fish bit it and they kind of went in towards you. It's honestly right now, like how calm it is out there. I might mess around here in a second and put on like a little popping cork maybe with one of them shrimp. See if any super aggressive like jacks or anything are around. You guys are wondering, basically what I'm fishing right now, I don't know if I really even said this, but this is kind of like a big flat out here. It goes down a couple feet and um, in the higher tides it's fishable, but when this thing gets down to like low, low tide, you can just see like how flat it is. Like, very skinny water, but during these tide cycles, fish come up here to feed. I know people always get these comments. And they're like, yo, dude, why don't you ever catch any big fish? First of all, you know, it's not that I'm not trying to catch big fish. It's just, I'm going out and I'll show you guys what happens. But just mark my words, man. Soon on the channel, we are gonna be catching something big. Like big, big. I'm gonna make sure of it. I'm gonna put my hours in. I'm gonna put my time in. We're gonna catch something big that I've never caught before, but just stay tuned on that one. For now, we catch a 10 pound doormat off the beach. What? I just had a little crab on me. Baby junior crab. <laughs> Tiny little dude. Okay, I was just reeling this in because I was going to relocate. Wait, we have a big fish on here, dude. Wait, what is that? What in the world is that? Are you kidding me? From the beach? Dude, you're going to tangle us all up. Dude, we just we just got a freaking eel. Oh, there he goes, tangling us all up. Oh, jeez. Like, literally, like, what is going on, guy? This is not... 
This is not what we need right now. What is this? I should have known, dude. I think that's GG for this rig, to be honest. All right, well, if anybody's got any tips for how to handle those eels when they come out of the water to untangle your rigs, please let me know. <laughs> it's definitely a learning experience. So we were fishing kind of like over there. We came to over here. There was somebody fishing, but basically the tide is starting to go out, right? And those people left. So right around here, I don't know if you guys can see that. The water's starting to rip. I'm hoping that there's going to be some fish right on this side of the jetty that are trying to ambush some stuff that's floating past the jetty if that makes any sense so i tied this on this is the popping cork that came with this rig again it's a big hook oh my again this hook is definitely bigger than what i would probably use Basically, this is all we got. A little quirk, that leader goes down to the shrimp. So hopefully something over here is looking to feed. And boom. Before I put this on, I was actually casting over here a little bit right when the guy left. Just trying to see if there was any flounder and I got snagged. I got too close to the jetty. This jetty goes pretty far out and uh, you guys will see as the tide goes further out, This uh, jetty will appear more. Just kind of dangle the shrimp on the other side here and see if anything will be a bite this. Hopefully not a freaking eel. <laughs> anything but an eel, please. It was worse too, because we had the two hooks set up, so it like completely tangled it, like hooked its butt. Oh man, those things are slimy and gnarly. Nonetheless, a fish is a fish. An eel's a fish, right? I don't know. Another species for the day. Hopefully this bobber goes down, we'll see. All right, cool. So we can keep an eye on that bobber right there and we can fish towards the left. Is this a short tooth? Wait, where'd it go? Oh, I think I found one, dude. First tooth of the day, look at that. Five shrimp out there, shark tooth in the pocket. New gulp on, new jig on. See if anybody's hiding out over here. It should be some flounder, you would think, in theory. But also, in theory, you think something would eat the freaking fresh live shrimp just floating around out there like freaking candy. All right. Beyond that. See, the, the, the issue is the wind's blowing that way and the tide's going that way. So when you cast, the wind kind of blows you into the jetty a little bit. I'm not trying to lose any more stuff. See, the one thing about this tackle boxes you don't get the most gear so you don't want to be snagging it Here we go. What is that? What is that? Bro. What on earth? I want to say this is called a lizard fish. I don't know. Hoping to get you guys a better look. I, I don't think I got you too good of a look at that last eel that we caught. Oh. Look at that. What is that? There you go. Go ahead. Pretty sure that is called a lizard fish. Get out of here. He's like, what just happened?
fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. Look at him. That is a tiny little pancake. Look at that. See it? I could go in there and grab it, but I'll let him go away. That is probably almost the size of this bait. Like you go to IHOP, you get like the mini dollar pancakes. <laughs> That's what you're getting right there, dude. Still cool though. Second flounder of the day. You could say that's a catch. You say it's not a catch, whatever. I'm gonna call it a catch. Second one of the day, quick release. I'd be surprised if there weren't a few more fish just hanging out right here. Maybe they are and they just don't want to bite. All right, so we fished for a while. Once that tide started to go out a little bit too much, the bite kind of died. I gotta give it to it, man. This box for $35, which isn't super cheap, but for the amount of stuff you get and the variety, I'd say out of 10, I'd give this like a seven and a half slash eight, which that's pretty good. Last box, I don't know if you guys remember from Walmart, um, it, it was not the best. By the way, I just want to say this, this is not sponsored. Like I'm not getting paid by this company or you know, not affiliated anyway. I literally just saw it at Walmart and I was like, that looks interesting. Let's go take a fish. And we got some freaking fish. So yeah, man, again, thank you guys so much for all the freaking support. Let me know if there's any other kind of boxes or items you want me to test out. As always, man, thank you guys so much for all the support. Let's keep this rolling. Thank y'all for watching. See you, you next video.